Next, are travellers just a blight that needs more control or a way of life that needs protecting? Over the past few weeks, there have been several incidents in the East Midlands where travellers have set up camp illegally, causing complaints from locals. A new law is going through Parliament to tackle unauthorised gypsy and traveller camps. So we asked the BBC's East Midlands social affairs correspondent Jeremy Ball to speak to people who back the law change and he also heard from a law student from the Gypsy Roma community about her fears for the future. Travellers on a Newark playing field, they've just been moved on for the civil offence of trespass. But soon this could be a criminal offence, punishable with fines or jail, and police powers to seize caravans on land without permission. You can see the extent of the damage to the field. That law is designed to protect uh, people like Lorraine and Mick. The they had to deal with more serious disruption on this playing field in Worksop. About 40 caravans turned up. There was a lot of intimidation um, towards uh, people walking across the field from, from the local community. They were riding around on motorbikes at all hours, skidding their cars around. There's builders' rubble, there's gas canisters, rubbish piled up behind residents' fences, people using our field as a toilet, um, damage to the children's play park, fighting. And what was the most unpleasant thing about it? The worst thing, I guess, is being frightened about being in your own home. The government says these new powers would only target a minority of travellers, those who break the law, and it says communities need to be protected from the kind of damage they saw here. Critics, though, say there aren't enough legitimate traveller sites, and they're worried it could criminalise a traditional way of life. Critics like Jem, a Gypsy Roma who's studying law at De Montfort University, her family have always been travellers. They're saying it's about antisocial travellers. No, it's not. It's about anyone. If you seize a trailer or a um, motor vehicle, that's someone's home gone. If you find them or arrest them, that's someone's mum or dad gone. You're creating homeless people, but not solving the problem. I recognise that travellers have a, have a right to to choose their lifestyle and I don't think any of us are anti-traveller. However, that, for me, that's within the law. It's the freedom to go up and down the country, look for work where it's needed. You know, in the summer you'd be in the fields picking fruit and then during the winter it'd be scrap or hawking and selling things. So it's a way, it's a way of life that's happened for hundreds of years and just because we're in the 21st century it shouldn't stop because society fails to understand it. <laughs> The crackdown's part of the wide-ranging police, crime, sentencing and court spill that's prompted these angry demonstrations. But the government says it will allow travellers to continue a nomadic way of life as long as they respect the rights of people who live nearby. Jeremy Ball reporting there. Margaret, I'm going to come to you first because your party is opposing the bill. Um, surely people have a right not to suffer the kinds of problems that Jeremy um, heard about in his report? Yes, of course, people have a right to, not to suffer problems. And if there are problems, they should be dealt with. But one thing that I think didn't come through in your film, my understanding is that although the government says that it would be better to have a criminal law, the police do not support that. Um, and if the police don't support it, then I don't support it, because what the police are talking about is their experience of dealing with things practically on the ground. I don't think there's any doubt, and I think most people would agree, that one of the best ways to solve the problem is to try and prevent it from arising by having more sites. I know that's not easy, and I know it can be controversial, but having more sites that are permitted is the way through. But of course, the problem is, as with so many things, when that's put to the government, they say, oh, yes, let local authorities do it. But they're taking all the money away from local authorities, not just the money for things like this, but money for all the things that we normally expect local authorities to do. So it's down to the government to encourage local authorities to provide the sites and to help them with the funding to do so. OK, well, Brendan, I know that this is something that you're quite passionate about. Uh, the, the point that Margaret raised, also something that Jem, who we heard from in that report, raised, was why don't you concentrate on providing more legal sites? 
Well, I saw, I saw the carnage in workshop firsthand, so I can really understand um, you know, why the residents were so angry about that. Uh, as Margaret says about settled sites, there are settled sites, and I think there's a discussion to be had around that. Uh, but I think we should make it clear, you know, this, this new law, it's not actually targeted at people on those settled sites. It's not targeted at those established traveller communities. You know, it's the people who are actually giving you know, the whole uh, community a bad name uh, by pitching up illegally and uh, leaving this mess behind and that's what we want to tackle now in terms of policing of course there's always going to be an issue there in terms of the resources they've got and we know it's very very difficult to clear these they're having to go through but, courts um, Brandon, at the moment sorry to interrupt, uh, but margaret says that the police don't support this bill uh, well, you know, my, my Labour Council in Bassett Law support this bill and they understand the problems that we have uh, with this. But I think with the police as well, you know, they, it allows them to use that common sense. We don't have to go to court and wait a couple of weeks to do it. But the police, obviously, they have a very tough job. Uh, if you're wanting them to go onto these mass sites and clear people out, that's very, very difficult. But what we want to say is we want it reasonable. You know, if someone's stopping off somewhere for a very short time and it's agreed, then I think we understand that. You know, if people are pitching up for a very long time time and causing damage like we've seen on the video then that's not what the public want and respect works both ways okay what would you say to that margaret i repeat you put it to brendan that the police don't support it and he said his local council do his local council are not the police if the police don't support it and don't think it's workable i don't support it okay i, I, I recognize the problem yes we should do something to tackle the problem if this won't tackle the problem let's not do it OK, well, you know, t another point that is raised as well, it, uh, you know, Margaret, you uh, are famously someone who enjoys going on a holiday in a caravan. And that's also part of, of what we're talking about. You know, shouldn't all caravanners just obey the law? Yes. And 99.99999% of them do. Um, and, and my guess is that the great bulk of people who are part of the travelling community do respect the law and do not want to have the kind of problems that Brendan is talking about. There's a minority that uh, unfortunately do sometimes cause problems and that has to be dealt with. But I repeat, if this isn't a method of dealing with it, 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 it turns into nothing more than uh, an attempt to, to deal with people's prejudices rather than being effective. I'm in favour of law that is effective. OK, well, uh, Brendan, you know, uh, another point that is also made, um, you know, by Jem in Jeremy's piece, uh, you know, she says that the bill targets an ancient way of life, uh, but also mentions seasonal workers. And, you know, that's part of the way of life. Uh, and we know at the moment that farmers and growers are finding it hard to, to, to recruit pickers. Isn't this one way of encouraging that? Uh, well, I've had discussions with farmers in my area and they've also made that point, of course, uh, since I was leaving the European Union about seasonal labour labor with that. So, of course, there is always an issue with that. But then those farmers want people on their land. They want people staying. They want people doing that work. And I think that's very, very different from what we've seen where people sometimes pitch up uh, areas that really aren't appropriate and cause a lot of damage. So I think we need to start separating out, really, the, the people who live a very decent, law-abiding and uh, legal way, the people who are trying to work, and the people who are really disrespecting the areas that they've gone into. All right, thank you to you both.